holy woman that we commemorate today is Prudence Crandall. Born to a Quaker family in Rhode Island in 1803, Prudence Crandall was educated in arithmetic, the sciences, and Latin at a New England Friends boarding school in Rhode Island. The Quakers believed that women should be educated, and it was in the environment of the Friends boarding school that Prudence Crandall's passion for teaching was first, first awakened. In 1831, she started a girls' school in Canterbury, Connecticut, where she educated the daughters of the town's wealthy families. In 1833, she admitted a young African-American girl named Sarah Harris. Harris wanted an education so that she could, in turn, teach other African-American children. The parents of the white children at Crandall School were outraged and demanded, that, demanded Harris's expulsion, but Crandall refused and decided to open a new school for African-American girls. Despite repeated attempts by the town members to close the school and even threats to destroy it, Crandall persevered in her labors. She educated the editor of The Liberator, which was the nation's largest anti-slavery newspaper. Through his paper and advocacy, the editor spread awareness of her cause all over the nation. However, in 1833, the state legislature passed a so-called black law, which made it a crime to open a school that taught black children from any other state but Connecticut. Crandall, who had received pupils from other states, was arrested, jailed, and tried. She was eventually convicted, but a higher court reversed the decision. Far from subsiding, the harassment that she endured grew worse, and fearing for the safety of her students, she closed her school. Prudence died in 1890, and today she is recognized as the official state heroine of Connecticut. Will you pray with me? God, the wellspring of justice and strength, we pray for you, that we thank you for raising up in Prudence Crandall a belief in education and a resolute will to teach girls of every color and race, that alongside her they might take their place in working for the nurture and well-being of all society undaunted by prejudice or adversity. Grant that we, following her example, may participate in the work of building up the human family in Christ, your word and wisdom, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen.